No, no. Where we, 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 we stand, my lady, is that we would like our rights to be vindicated and recognized. Yes. Uh, the rights that in the Constitutional Court has said we have under Section 34 and the duty to this court to, to, uh, to, 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 to have, A, firstly, even before we talk about the record, complied with the notice of motion. Because the notice mm -hmm. of motion says said five days, my lady, on the first or, or the fourth, I think the actual service was on the fourth of March. Where are we now? We're on the 18th of April. Yeah. It's, it's five times 20. Or, well, the, the, that's probably too, too high. But mm -hmm. they, 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 and somebody comes here having folded their arms for six weeks, my lady. Mm -hmm. And they have the audacity to say, we're not going to give it to you. But by the way, because we didn't give it to you, you must pay us uh, the, the cost. Yeah. For, for we'll get to that argument now. I just, I just want to, I'm glad you, that you have pointed out that the furnishing of the record it's not something that a party requesting to do so can just ignore. Yeah, or just say you didn't compel me. Yes. That, that in terms of the provisions of Rule 53, you are required to furnish the record if it's a review that you are facing. So I, I just wanted to understand, you, you are still desirous to have the record and the reasons well, furnished to you, albeit that it's now outside of the time frame that you've stipulated. No, my lady, let me let me explain our position very clearly. Again, the if the court we, we're not desirous of anything, we're desirous of getting the relief that you want to hear it today, Mr. Mpofu. Yeah. But if the court holds the view that the furnishing of the record, as you've requested in your notice of motion, is required for the proper adjudication of this dispute. Yeah then the court ought to order the furnishing of that record. Absolutely. That's what yeah. we've said in our short heads, yeah. So yeah. we, but we, we our, our primary submission, my lady, is that yeah. we, we are entitled, if it means we don't ever see the record, but we get a, a judgment by default, why would we want a, a record if, if we're entitled to, uh, let's say they didn't uh, do anything, my lady. Let's say they didn't furnish anything. They were not even here in court. I wouldn't come here and say, my lady, I want the record. Record for what? Because they, 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 by their default and, and by they are not yeah. being here, that would have been sufficient ground. The founding affidavit on its own would suffice for your ladyship to grant the order. Assume there was no one here trying to give us uh, stories about why they, they sat down for, for six weeks. Why would your ladyship say to me, if I came in urgent court on Tuesday, uh, no, Mr. Mpofu, uh, we, we must refer the matter to the DJP for what? Or we, we, we must wait for the record. Because these people have deliberately for the past seven months yeah, been no. dragging this thing and deliberately, no. which part I've never encountered a situation, my lady, I must say, where a party gets no. urgent papers and literally does nothing for, for six weeks. Yeah. I've never. All right. Uh, I just want to anticipate what they would argue before the court. They yeah. they seem to have taken issue with the fact that you have set down the application, enrolled the application on an unopposed basis in the yes. urgent court. Okay. What, what, what is your stance on that? Okay. Well, my lady, the, that is the, the um, practice directive of this court. Uh, is it? Yes. It says the following. Uh, whether the respondent has failed to, deal, I'm sorry, it's uh, it's not in front of your ladyship, I'll give you the reference. Whether the respondent has failed to deliver an answering of David and has not given notice of an intention only to raise the question of law, which is 65D, or appointed limited, the applicant must not be enrolled or had on the opposed role. Such mm -hmm. an application must be enrolled on the unopposed role. So what happens is, is that the, the uh, and that's why our attorney furnished an, a, 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 an affidavit to say that this is what uh, we have um, uh, tried and we have waited and so on. And it has to be done under oath. And mm -hmm. then we go to the registrar, we ask for a date. The, the only thing that seems to be confusing the other side is that the date that we have put, we had put to say, if it's not opposed, this is what we will do. It happens to be the same date, which is the 16th uh, of April. If we had put a separate date there, uh, then maybe the confusion on their part would not happen. But we are perfectly entitled. No, I don't think that's their confusion. I think the confusion on their part is the fact that you had 
serve them with a notice of set down and you've said that you're setting you're setting the matter down on the unopposed role yes but that, that, that's of the, no, the, 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 well then it means they don't know the directives of the court the, the directives of this court are very clear that if you don't have an answering affidavit you are entitled to to it's like a, that's why i call it for lack of a better word it, default judgment your, your ladyship knows even under rule 32 that mm -hmm. if you have not been furnished with a, a plea or a, a notice to oppose, then you, you set the matter down. That's what yeah, we but, did. But, but remember, you are, your application when it was issued, it was issued for the urgent court. Yes. The, it, the was not an, it, it was not an ordinary notice of motion that was issued. It was a notice of motion that was issued specifically for adjudication in the urgent court. Yes. That's but, how I understood but, it. My lady, that's... Uh, completely neither here nor there. What happens in an urgent... But that's what I'm going to get to. Because you've issued it out of, for adjudication in the urgent court, yeah. the date given to you for adjudication remains. Whether that application becomes opposed in between yeah. or it remains unopposed, your date for adjudication stands. There's yes. no need for you to file an additional notice of enrollment, whatever you want to call it, because it's the urgent court. Well, in that case, then, my lady, I take your leadership to, to page four of the notice of motion. Yeah. Uh, where it says, if no such notice is, is given, application will be made on 16th April 2024 at 10. Mm -hmm. So your leadership is quite correct. And that's yeah. why that date, then, all I'm, I was saying is that that date cannot, is not the same as the date on the face. Or, or the one on the face is anticipating it talks about deputy judge president or whatever it's anticipating opposition mm -hmm. but the date which which is the unopposed date happened to be the 16th yeah. page uh, um, it's zero your leadership is there just yes, right at, at the end yeah if if so if if no opposition or no notice is given application will be made on 16th april at 10. so that's what happened my lady if your leadership doesn't like the ordinary set, uh, notice of motion I mean, mm -hmm. notice of set down, that's fine. Then we take the notice of motion as the notice of set down. So we can't have it both ways. It's either we say, if we did it twice, well, so, so be it. We, we put two, two <laughs> set down. So. Well, what I'm saying it was rather superfluous to have done it because you were given the date of the 16th. They were informed of the date upon service of the notice of motion on them. Yeah. And it matters not whether you've served them with an additional notice of enrollment because your application was always going to be in the urgent court. That's, That's fine. Then, then we did it twice. We we even did yeah. more than. Well, so let, let's just consider the the correct one, which was the first one. The, yeah. So the matter was properly then set down on the on the sixteenth on the unopposed roll. So they cannot come here, my lady, honestly, and say and 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 want to play tricks with dates and and technicalities. Yeah. They must answer squarely the question why. When on receipt of a, a, an urgent application on the 4th of March, they uh, waited until last Thursday or Friday to do anything. Uh, yeah. well, well, that's what I actually wanted you to first address me on now. Okay. Remember, your notice of motion was clear. On yes. receipt of the notice of motion by them, they ought to have given a notice of intention to oppose, and you've stipulated in your notice of motion the date by when they had to oppose. I think you've set out the by the seconds. No, the sec the sixth of March first. That's to give the intention to oppose. Oh yes, of course. Uh, yeah, on page. And then by the twenty second, they ought to have filed their answering okay, affidavit. That's correct, my lady. So, so they defied both dates. Yeah. They defied both dates, and on that basis, you are saying you ought to be heard without them being before the court. Yes, my lady. I'm saying they are not. They are not properly before the court, and uh, they have uh, breached the rules, and they have misrepresented uh, the facts they have uh, uh, given a dishonest explanation as to why we don't have a, a, a record and um, and and they cannot be rewarded my lady with the greatest respect i imagine if this was an urgent application where somebody is is sitting in the icu and so on and then you come here and you, you give us all these technicalities and um you know we gave them six weeks to, not 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 my lady out of um uh, sorry my lady just i just want to refer your leadership to uh, 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 i won't belong paragraph 42 
of our um, it's all, 4 25 paragraph 42 of our founding affidavit thank you we say my lady the necessary papers were indeed thankfully finalized within a week or so thereafter after taking instructions and so on by me on one march after effecting some changes they were duly and promptly served and and delivered they were served in other words on the first of march i know that the sheriff came on on the on the fourth but that doesn't matter but here's the important part the mm. respondents have been deliberately granted more than sufficient time to file their opposing papers if any in other words the six weeks gap was not a coincidence we if we we could have set this thing down in march but we thought let's be fair because there's still issues of the record there's issues of this and that and let's go to uh, the 16th of april the client actually had wanted this to be much earlier but we say we, we deliberately granted them more than sufficient time to file their opposing papers and they did nothing that cannot go unnoticed or brushed aside or unpunished that's really what we're, what we're saying yeah all right now as far as the let's just deal with the fifth respondent the fifth right. respondent is is, is 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 before court and the fifth respondent says now they wishes to raise um well they initially set a point of non of joinder non-joinder but they only want to be, to be heard on agency. Well, the, those ones are even worse than um, Mr. Kalega. They're not even, they didn't even put a notice to oppose. Yeah. Uh, so really, I mean, how can it be allowed, my lady, that someone rocks up in court, they got notice on the 4th of March, and they literally just uh, arrive in court on the day of the hearing and say, yes. we want to raise this, that, and the other. No notice, not, as I said on Tuesday, not even a letter that says, we want to raise a, a non-joinder or whatever it is. You just arrive. Where, yeah. where does that happen, really? Yeah. In an so, SN application where somebody's rights are at stake and uh, they need to be vindicated, human rights, in, the constitutional rights are at stake and need to be vindicated as a matter of, of inherent agency. So you, know, you are saying this court should not entertain them? No, my lady. As I say, these people, the speaker, they say they represent the speaker, I suppose it's the acting speaker now. So, mm. so that speaker and Mr. Galega and all those things are sitting in their offices, they are getting their salaries every month, and they are sabotaging uh, somebody's li livelihood with, with yeah. all this smoke and mirrors that, that is playing itself out in this court, and dragging this thing and dragging it forever. It, it can be, my lady, it really can be. Okay. All right, you, you'll have an opportunity to reply. Let me just hear uh, your opponents. Thank you, Mr. Mpofu. My lady, maybe then, the, 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 uh, uh, sorry, my lady, just one thing so, so that I don't come back to this. If your ladyship, irrespective of everything, is inclined to, to give them a second chance, as we say in our heads, then, my lady, definitely the, the, then the timetable that we have uh, suggested in the alternative and uh, punitive costs are... Uh, in fact, not even punitive costs can, can assuage what, 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 what they have done. But unfortunately, at this stage, that's, that's all we can ask for. All that's right. the that's court place, Thank you. Mr. Toby. Thank you, my lady. Um, so, my lady, you know that we have in our um, letter... Sorry, I apologize, my lady. Um, just for purposes of bandwidth, May I just request that your leadership should direct that those that are not speaking should mute their cameras. Okay, Mr. Mr. Mpofu. Thank you, thank uh, you, lady. Maybe also take off your, your, your video. Thank you for that. Is it only for purpose of bandwidth, Mr. Mpofu? I, 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 I don't know. Maybe yes. I just don't want to see Mr. Mpofu. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's bandwidth and connectivity. It's bandwidth and connectivity. It's more than bandwidth. <laughs> I also think so. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> 